Hello, welcome back. Today we are going to see how to generate HTML reports from JMeter tests. So for generating HTML reports, we have few few uh, prerequisites that need to be satisfied. So the first prerequisite is you should have created one folder which will hold your reports. Currently this folder is empty so there is nothing inside it okay uh, next thing you need to have a jmeter test so let's uh, open one pre-existing jmeter test which i have created it's opening so just hold on for a few minutes it's always advisable to open it through that jmeter.bat instead of apache jmeter bat because opening through jmeter.bat will open a console window for you uh, if you have any uh, system.outs to display then it will get displayed in the console window so this this one is the console window that I am talking about okay I have opened this test that I have created in JMeter and it has two thread groups uh, the two thread the first thread group has a thread count of uh, 5 and a loop count of 2 the second thread group has a loop loop count of 1 and a number of threads as 5 I have put uh, two HTTP request in the first thread group the first is a home page for livecharger.org and with it is a response assertion where it is testing for the uh, the response should not contain any error or warning the second one is the about page and this also has the same kind of conditions the second thread group has the archives page and it has a response assertion attached to it which verifies that the response code is not 200 so in normal cases the response code will be 200 and this will surely fail in all sin all conditions i have uh, made it in this manner so as to show you pass and fail scenarios both in the graphs so this is how you structure your uh, jmeter test uh, you can structure it any way you want i have added view results in table aggregate report and view results in tree so moving ahead uh, next we are going to see what all changes we need to do in order to uh, generate our html report this is the batch file that we will be using for html report generation the cd command the change directory command and the set field names is the same as last time the only change is in the jmeter command jmeter minus n minus t uh, the and execution dot uh, jmx uh, and this we can uh, rename to our test html report dot jmx so we will do that i am changing it to html report dot jmx minus l and then we are generating the csv file for that so html underscore report dot csv and then after this you will be seeing two new options minus e and minus o these are for the html report generation and you will have to create the html folder that i already showed you and uh, we are all set this is the test that we will be running so now i go ahead and i will run this using this batch file so first i will save this batch file and then i will run it okay i am going to run it now using the batch file so my file dot bat so i am running it now and it has started executing the html report.csv 
it's running in the meantime we will see whether the file is getting our uh, files are getting generated in the html folder still not got generated okay so there you see the files have slowly started coming in and the files have got generated so these are the two folders in the html directory which gets generated because of the minus e minus o command that you gave and there is this index.html which will give you a consolidated report so let's see whether our test has completed okay it's uh, completing this uh, error that you are seeing over here it has something to do with my jvm not exiting it has nothing to do with this test so don't worry about this error it will generate the report anyway it's waiting uh, after some time the test will get completed and we will have the reports ready so the test has completed let's look have a let's have a look at the reports index.html you need to click and there it opens it for you in uh, html format so as you can see here uh, few tests uh, i had deliberately failed few tests and that's the reason it's giving a 20 percent failure 80 percent uh, tests have passed and this is the dashboard here you see something called app decks and here you also see the errors that were encountered so what were the errors encountered test failed code expected not to equal 200 but it was 200 that's the reason it failed it was deliberately failed and this these are the details like error percentage 90 percentile 95 percentile 99 percentile throughput kilobytes per second minimum and maximum coming to the uh, other reports here charts over time now I am going to show you something uh, peculiar about these reports. See here, you don't get the reports. So, in this case, what are we supposed to do? We don't get any of the detailed reports here. So, in that case, we need to change one parameter and then run the test again. So, let's change that parameter and then we can run the test again. So, you need to go to report generator dot properties it's somewhere over here yeah here it is and you need to open this and you need to change one parameter called overall granularity see defines the overall granularity for all over time graphs so here it is 60,000 let's reduce it to 1000 and then it will start producing the graphs line graphs so i will save this file save it and then close it and we will have to run this test again to generate the graphs that's a, a little overhead in this kind of scenario but once you have all this set up it will be easy i had uh, kept this thing just to show it to you so remove this files over here remove the four items and then run the test again so we will close this apache dashboard and now we are going to run the test again ok uh, it says that the csv file is not empty so we will have to delete the csv file as well html report.csv yeah here it is delete this file and just uh, cross check whether the html folder is empty or not it's empty so we can go ahead with running our test this kind of small problems will occur so you need to take care of those problems yeah it started uh, creating the reports
so we need to wait it has completed the test this is the exception that i was saying that my jvm does not ex exit properly it's nothing to do with uh, the html report generation so let's wait once we see the command prompt we will go back to our html folder if you have a look over here the html files will already have been generated but the files may not contain proper data so we need to wait till the test completes so this is how you generate html reports i have shown you how to change the graph generator uh, the report generator dot properties in case you don't get the line graph so this this has completed let's see the index.html that we have okay we get the results here and uh, we get the usual results one more thing to be noted is this app dex uh, this is uh, if you click on this you will get the information on what app dex is so i am opening it up in wikipedia Appdex application performance index is an open standard developed by an alliance of companies and it defines a standard method for reporting and comparing the performance of software applications in computing so that is what in short appdex is so this html report generation is making use of this application performance index let's go back to our uh, line graphs which we were not able to see because of that problem with report generator dot properties see this time it has generated the graphs in line line graphs in a proper format so we are getting the graphs as far as the explanation of these graphs go it will be done in the advanced session so see you get all these graphs latencies over time also it will be displayed so all these graphs are generated you can just take a screen print and put it in your report if you want uh, throughput graphs will get generated so throughput it's hits per second then if you go down you will have other graphs codes per second okay transactions per second see and you get lot of information uh, you get to see the actual performance how it was this is another uh, global number of request per second and then latency versus request okay these uh, graphs are there so you want to see more graphs you can just go up and check the response times you will get the response time percentiles here active threads over time these are the active threads over time time versus threads the time versus threads graph and response time distribution this is the response time distribution graph so this is how the graphs got generated and i showed you uh, of the things that need to be taken care of another thing that may be of a concern is uh, sometimes if you give the command jmeter uh, jmx file minus n minus t jmx file and minus l the report file the report file even though the format is csv it will get generated in xml format so in that case you need to look into user dot properties which is in the bin folder uh, i am scrolling down to user dot properties here it is so here you can see let it open here if you maximize this you will see that if you give a search on csv then you will find the jmeter dot save dot save service dot output format is csv uh, this problem had occurred to me in which this was set to xml 
and even though I was generating the report in CSV format, all the data inside the CSV format was in XML. Uh, was in XML format so it was creating a lot of trouble for me finally I found this one that uh, this entry had the value of XML and uh, now I have changed it to CSV and everything is working fine so this is how you generate HTML reports using uh, JMeter and JMeter in non GUI mode so that's all uh, if you like this video please click like uh, do subscribe and keep watching keep learning thank you